The swearing-in of the 426 members of parliament has been concluded. The music and celebrations have faded. The House now heads to serious business as the members of parliament begin their five-year journey in legislative politics. The first official business will be the election of the Speaker and Deputy Speaker of the 10th Parliament. Now, whereas incumbent Speaker Rebecca Kadaga is almost certain to retain her job after the ruling NRM party that has the majority in the House endorsed her. Her Deputy Jacob Bolanya will have to wait off a tough challenge from Kampala Central MP Mohamed Nsereko. Olanya and Nsereko are lawyers and maverick politicians in their own right. Olanya is hinging his hope on the fact, just like Kadaga, that he has backing of the NRM party that has 302 members in a house of 427 lawmakers. On the other hand, Nsereko, who is standing on the independence ticket, is banking on fellow independents, independent-minded legislators, the opposition vote, and the fence-seaters. There's going to be factors of religion influencing, factors of the region, factors of the characters of the person. I am very hopeful that since the majority of the members are new, their minds have not been blotted by anything, in spite of the NRM members getting 5 million shillings. I am hopeful that their minds are still clear enough to know and to understand objectivity. And yet amidst all this is the fact that both men have deep roots in the NRM, although Nsereko broke ties when he was labelled rebel MP, expelled and later forgiven. Kampala lawyer and political commentator Nicolas Opio says the vote for deputy speaker will be informed by which image the MPs will want the public to have of the 10th parliament as they start out. History, their past, has played out in the open, in public, and people know who they are and what they stand for. So I do think that uh, even though their history is going to come into play, will bear in the minds of MPs when they're electing the speaker, it will not be the overriding factor in electing the speaker. It's going to be what the NRM wants mm -hmm. and what uh, people in parliament want, whether an independent deputy speaker or one who is simply just going to be a rubber stamp. In the last few years, Jacob Bolanya, a former opposition UPC party member, has lavishly used a number of superlatives to describe President Museveni. Last year, while representing President Museveni at a Thanksgiving ceremony in Jinja, Olanya compared Museveni to Jesus Christ, saying he redeemed the country. He has also said Museveni is his hero. Of the 427 new MPs, over 100 are incumbents. So are there chances that the NRM MPs would backtrack on the party position to support Olanya? The vast majority of members of parliament are new members of parliament. Many of them are feeble are really novices in politics, at least in parliamentary politics, and will not be able to have the steel to assert themselves. Even if all the other 58 independents vote on Sedeco, that would bring his total vote to 104, in addition to the combined vote of the opposition MPs against NRM's 302. But again, the vote will be secret ballot, although there are reports that some NRM extremists are plotting to have the rules temporarily changed to have the MPs vote by show of hands. Shiran Huchere, NTV Parliament.